In order to add a works cited page to your paper, it's important that you first create your sources. So throughout your document, you should have already created many of your sources and use them for the parenthetical citations. So in this particular example, we have three different sources that we've been using throughout this paper. To see the sources, you can click on Manage Sources and click at what's currently used in the list and delete anything you don't need, etc. So I'm going to go ahead and click Close. And in order to add the Works Cited page, now we need to go up to the References tab and under Bibliography, choose Works Cited. So it depends on what style you're using, APA, MLA, whatever your teacher requires to choose which of these versions that you need. And each of them is going to write the sources a little bit differently. So I'll click Works Cited. And you'll notice that when I do, it turns gray because it's something that wasn't typed manually in by you, it was added in through Word. But the styling is not what we need here. So we're going to have to update each one of these. So I'm going to go over to um, my font and I'm going to choose my regular font and I'm going to choose the regular 12 point size and it should be automatic coloring and I will center that. Now it should be just like the rest of the paper, it should be double space and get rid of that space or that gap between paragraphs. So I'm going to have to highlight all of it and go to double spacing. Oops, it didn't let me highlight all of it. So highlight all of it and go to double spacing and then make sure to remove the space after the paragraph. Now I might need to do that again because I didn't include the title. So let's go to double spacing and again remove space before or after the paragraph. So that's giving me something a little bit better. Now you might need to manually edit some of these citations um, just to get the information you want in there and you can delete some of these um, returns so it doesn't look a little bit me so messy. And then we'll turn the non-printing characters on and off. So within a matter of seconds or even two minutes, we've created a whole works cited page based on the works that we have cited throughout our paper. It's alphabetized, it has hanging indents, it did everything for us. So that's the benefit of using the references tab and the references features in Microsoft Word.